M. Bukkebeg heralds mobile governance of the CBOs in Andhra Pradesh. The first flowering of community-based economic development in Andhra Pradesh is distinctive by the stupendous success it has achieved. Launched in the year 2000, Indra Krantipatam, IKP is a statewide poverty reduction project being implemented by the Society for Elimination of Rural Poverty, Government of Andhra Pradesh. IKP is the single largest grassroots empowerment project in South Asia that focuses on poverty alleviation to enable the rural poor to improve their livelihoods and quality of life through their own organizations. Keeping in view that institution building in a developing society is the organization's core contribution to development, the project first instituted the IB intervention. The process was initiated by making door-to-door -door visits of households by the members themselves to identify people who had crossed the line of poverty, enroll them in the self-help groups and raise awareness on existing opportunities. A decade hence, 2012, thanks to IB efforts, the membership has crossed over 1 crore women in 10 lakhs SHGs belonging to 38,500 VOs of 1,098 mandals spread across 22 districts in Andhra Pradesh. The activities revolve around beneficiaries at the grassroots level by assigning them as the key stakeholders. An SHG has a membership of 10 to 15 women. A village usually has 30 to 40 SHGs depending on the size and its population. All the SHGs in the village collectively form a village organization. In the initial years, the formation of SHGs and promoting thrift and credit activities helped in empowering the women. Mustering 20 rupees to 50 rupees per month, they created savings, opened savings bank accounts, gained entry into banking facilities and linkage to credit. The accounts and resolutions were recorded by hiring a SHG bookkeeper. The bookkeeper maintained the day-to-day -day accounts like savings, loans, the date of SHG meeting, resolutions taken, etc. in different registers. As the activities grew, so did the registers. The SHG bookkeeper had to meticulously record every transaction. Quite often, this method proved ineffective, like irregularity in writing down transactions, date of SHG meeting or attendance of members in the meeting, errors in calculation of interest paid, registered getting misplaced or lost, etc. Among the members, this led to avoidable doubts, drop in attendance at the meetings as well as savings, irregular loan repayments, etc. To combat this problem, the project in the year 2010 introduced e-bookkeeping in 5,000 VOs. This is an offline application to be uploaded via internet. But this process proved ineffective due to poor internet connectivity in the villages. Keeping in view that mobile usage in the rural areas was widespread, especially among the illiterate women who were mobile savvy, the project decided to introduce mobile bookkeeping for the entire SHG accounting processes. As a result, the advent of mobile bookkeeping heralded a new beginning among the community-based organizations, CBOs. It is a fifth-generation computer technology or cloud computing, that is, internet-based computing whereby shared computing resources 
software and information are provided on demand via the internet where the transactions of the end users are captured through mobile devices to a centralized database. The advantage of this initiative is that it works both offline and online. Besides, it promotes financial literacy among the members and also ensures transparency, thereby reducing the possibility of cheating or being cheated. As the mobile application automatically calculates EMIs, receipts and payments, income and expenditure, etc. And since it has validations, occurrence of errors, if any, are minimized. On the other hand, it considerably reduces time consumption and drudgery in maintenance of books of accounts and in enhancing credibility of CBOs in the eyes of the lending institutions. More importantly, the mobile bookkeeping enables the CBOs and the project to ensure that all SHG members get benefited through all project interventions. This helps in understanding the impact on their families. The mobile bookkeeping also helps the government and the project in village-wise grading of different groups on financial parameters. At the Mandal Samakya level, all the SBKs are provided training by the mobile master trainers, MMTs, to operate the M bookkeeping application using mobiles. The training process is coordinated by the district microfinance group DMGs and assisted by the Assistant Project Manager APM. Under the project, village organizations are provided mobile handsets uploaded with bookkeeping software. Already 38,500 VOs covering around 10 lakh SHGs within the state are using the mobile devices to capture the data of regular bookkeeping activities. The M bookkeeping application has around 257 fields from where the functionary, that is, the SHG bookkeeper, now renamed Village Mobile Bookkeeper, VMBK, stationed at the village organization, enters the data of SHGs during their meeting. After entering the transactions in the mobile, the VMBK records the minutes of the meeting in the register and takes the signature of the members. Further, to enable the members to know their individual savings and loan repayment details, the VMBK records the transactions in individual passbooks of the members. The meetings, savings and lending of the savings go simultaneously in a cycle. The amount thus collected is extended as loan to needy members and the remaining amount, if any, is credited to the SHG's account in the bank. The M Bookkeeping application provides data entry fields in Telugu to record the dates of meeting, details of savings, existing loans of individual members, lending of internal savings, saved by the members of the groups and loans availed from external sources like the various departments of government or schemes and banks, insurance details, details of assets and repayment dates, etc. The savings are credited to individual group accounts in the banks and the loan given and recovery details are captured through M Bookkeeping application. All the transactions are uploaded to the mobile phones by the VMBK in just 15 minutes. This in turn is captured by the server via online by the internet facility activated on the mobiles. The same data is reflected on the website of SERP which is open and in public domain. Timely SMS alerts pertaining to meeting schedules Payment dates and defaults guard the members against defaults. The members at any time 
can track the progress of meetings, savings, lending, loan, repayment particulars, etc. using their mobile phones. The individual member's account details or the profit and loss account of the SHG can be known by checking the balance sheet from any mobile. Printed status reports are also supplied by the VO every month both for individual members as well as the SHGs. The members can also access their financial information by just making a phone call to the call center. The status reports enable the VOs, the Mandal Samakyas and the Zilla Samakyas to assess the performance of member organizations on a continuous basis and help them in taking up corrective measures. The cluster coordinator CC at the VO, the APM at the Mandal, the area coordinator AC at the cluster and the DPM, the APD and the project director at district monitor the authenticity of the data being uploaded and track the flow of finances. At the project level, the activity status of each and every self-help group is monitored by grading them based on the regularity and utility of their savings, loaning and the repayment discipline. This highlights the weak and strong SHGs. Based on these facts, various interventions are designed to address the weak groups to accelerate their performance. Similarly, the training need of the office bearers of VO, MS, ZS or the functionaries assisting this hierarchy is identified based on the progress monitored through MIS on the SERP website. The data is analyzed by Training Need Analysis TNA. Accordingly, the training is designed, implemented and its impact is assessed for each stakeholder in a calendar year. Cumulatively, it provides a DSS decision support system to field functionaries, APDs or PDs at the districts and a more detailed and analytical EIS executive information system to the CEO, the principal secretary, RD, cabinet or the government. This has led to strengthening the monitoring and supervision at all levels. Accurate and up-to-date maintenance of books of accounts has enhanced the quality of performance of SHGs. Members can access their account even from their remotest localities. The uniqueness of this latest initiative lies in the fact that any and every information required either by an SHG member or the VO the MS, ZS or the project office is just a click away.